بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم We begin with Allah's blessed name We praise Him and we glorify Him as He ought to be praised and glorified And we pray for peace and for blessings on all His noble messengers And in particular on the last of them all The blessed Prophet Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam As we greet you in blessed Rajab with this dua اللهم بارك لنا في رجب وشابان وبلغنا رمضان و الله كاني grants blessings in this month of Rajab and in the month of Shaban which follows and granted we may live to see blessed Ramadan we turn today to Pakistan because Gaza is in flames because our people are facing genocide in Gaza and the response to what is taking place in Gaza will come from that part of the world in which the north of Pakistan is located. Our Prophet said, Allah's blessing be upon him, that a Muslim army will come out of Khorasan and it will march until it reaches Jerusalem. It will be unstoppable. None can stop it. And this army will liberate Jerusalem. This is what our prophet said. And the heart of every believer, Muslim as well as Christian, is happy with this news. The day is a tomorrow coming when the Muslim army will liberate Jerusalem. And when Jerusalem is liberated, then Jesus, the son of Mary, the true Messiah can establish the holy state of Israel, the Khilafra state in Jerusalem and he can rule the world from Jerusalem and those who follow him will be the dominant force in the world. We who follow Muhammad, Allah bless him be upon him, we would be their brothers helping them and supporting them but we would not be the ruling force in the world, they would be and the Messiah will rule the world. And we know that this prophecy of Prophet Muhammad points to the direction of Khorasan. And Khorasan is that part, that part of the earth which has never bowed down and submitted. <laughs> Not to British imperialism, not to Soviet imperialism, not to American imperialism. No, they fought and they defeated Pax Britannica. They fought and they defeated the Soviet Union, not Russia, the Soviet Union. They fought and they defeated the United States of America. I was lecturing on the 15th of August 2021 in Islamabad. And while I was lecturing, <laughs> the puppet regime in Ab Kabul was fleeing out of Afghanistan and the regime was collapsing and the people of Ga Afghanistan were recovering their freedom. Pax, Brita Pax Americana was going out, out of the way. That is Khorasan. It is there also in Iran. Iran had a leader unlike any other leader the world of Islam has ever known, who pointed his finger at Washington, he said, you are Shaitan al-Kabir, the great Satan. Shaitan al-Akbar, the greatest Satan. That is Iran. And so we already have the evidence that this part of the world known as Khorasan will not bow in submission, never and will fight and will be victorious. It is only Pakistan that we're waiting on now. We already have Afghanistan free and liberated. We already have Iran free and liberated. But it's Pakistan, the people of Pakistan who are still enslaved. From the day Pakistan was born to this day, Pakistan has never enjoyed freedom. Any time Pakistan was going to about to end and get, get freedom, 
the leader was either assassinated or put in jail. Assassinated or put in jail. And so now this video is to say to you in Pakistan that if we are to liberate Gaza, if we are to liberate the Holy Land from its oppression, you have to first liberate Pakistan. Pakistan must be free. Unless Pakistan is free, we cannot, the army will not march. The, it is the armed forces of Pakistan, those who control power in the armed forces, they are the ones who are blocking the road to freedom, not the ordinary soldiers, not at all. The ordinary soldiers in the Pakistan armed forces, they love the deen of Islam. They are not puppets, they are not Yankee puppy dogs, they don't drink whiskey, not at all. And so I have to keep on reminding the people of Pakistan that you need to be free. And uh, if you believe that freedom will come through elections, you're living in dreamland. No, no. Freedom will never come to election because Dajjal is the one who designed the elections with secret ballots so they can do all kinds of bogus voting and so on and they can steal and rig an election. I would be absolutely astonished and surprised if Pakistan can become a free country through elections. No, no, no. If you are to become a free country, it will have to be through a mass movement of resistance against the oppressor, the way that it was done in Iran. We pray that the people of Pakistan will have the courage and the integrity to struggle for that freedom. Thank you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.